For many of us, a day's weeding conjures up visions of sore backs leaning over our garden hose. But in the tough terrain of Hoturu, a day's weeding can mean some pretty extreme antics. I'm off to hang out with Liz and learn more about weed control in the native bush. This little barrier looks pretty lush with forest. How big of a problem are weeds really? Uh, well, we've got three main weed species. Um, our climbing asparagus program has been going now for over 10 years and originally like, we were looking at 30,000 plants and we've now got that down to about 300. So. Um, that's looking really good. Pampas is something we've just started on um, and that's all around the coast and so that's probably covering a good hundred odd hectares or so. Why are those weeds such a problem here? Because they have a tendency to dominate over the natives. This all looks pretty full on, it's not your average sort of garden weeding is it? No, no not at all. Um, one of the weeds we're targeting probably uh, we cover an area of about 200 hectares. It's a bit like a police search and rescue, you know, we're grid searching through the bush with a, a team of five. We're trying to cover every sort of, I guess, square inch. Um, and yeah, looking around, we can go for a couple of days and not find anything. Do you think that uh, weeds as a pest are sort of underrated in New Zealand? Yeah, I think we tend to focus a lot more on the um, animal pests and yeah, weeds get overlooked a bit. People are actually becoming more aware about weeds. There's a lot more information out there about them now. Where do most of the weeds come from? All around the world. One of the weeds we've got here is from southern Africa, yeah, Asia. So how do they get in? I think back in Governor Gray's day it was quite fashionable to trade plants around the world and stuff. So this is the climbing asparagus? Yes, that's right. It doesn't look much like a weed to me, it almost looks like a fern. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it also doesn't look very scary. What happens to make that makes this such a bad pest? Well, this can actually grow to about five metres and it will just completely smother an area. So no, um, you won't get any seedlings or anything coming up. And I've even heard that it can ring, ring back a tree and kill it. So climbing asparagus is your main focus here on Little Barrier? Yes, it is, yep. Uh, we have a weed team for about three, four months of the year and this is what we're looking for every day. And are they usually about this size? Uh, no, generally we're finding them smaller. The program's been going for over 10 years. So um, in the beginning, you know, we were finding huge, massive adults, five metres high, and we were getting about 30,000. Now we're down to about 300 a year, and we're generally only finding them, you know, about this sort of size. We don't use any spray, it's all hand digging. And they've got little tubers under the ground, and it's really important to get the tubers out because they'll just regrow. All right, so we're all set now. It's time for us to do our bit. Yep. Should we give it a go? Yeah, let's go. Often in conservation we focus on the animal invaders, but it turns out that weeds can be just as devastating for our natural heritage. And through the vigilance of people like Liz and the hundreds of volunteers who engage in weed control throughout the country, we can all help keep these pesky garden escape artists at bay. <laughs> Done, almost. Still hanging. That's better. <laughs>